These are bad pictures. It's the same on any university campus, joking around over coffee, young people doing what young people do, chatting, texting, make a funny face, taking selfies until my phone froze or oh crap my phone died do you guys have a charger inventor ann also a bit of a ham to the rescue this may appear to be a regular mug however <laughs> a little hot coffee a cord to plug into the usb port in its base and bingo ann makasinski's coffee mug can charge her friend's cell phone generating electricity just using heat from the coffee. Maybe not enough juice for a full charge, but certainly enough hot coffee to fire off that critical text. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> just don't call her a genius. It's funny because they laugh a lot and I do too because like everyone in the media like thinks I'm like some like super genius, like smart kid. And all my friends know that I'm just like so, so not that. <laughs> The 18-year-old describes herself as a struggling first-year university student with a self-taught interest in science, one that's attracted international attention. This looks very high-tech. What is that? A thumbtack. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. She's explaining her latest invention to the old guy. Just an idea she had after watching her friend's phones die all the time. A thumbtack holds the circuitry in place, so how does heat from coffee make it work? Listen closely. This is just a heat material that I probably should replace. It produces energy from the heat temperature differential. Yeah. Um, so it's called the Seebeck effect. It was yeah. discovered in 1821, so it's pretty old. Yeah. Um, and what it is, is if you take a junction of two metals that are dissimilar, yeah. and you heat one side of them, and you cool the other, you get a small amount of electricity. Got that? Yeah. Once she figured out the circuitry and a battery storage system, the e-drink was invented. I find more satisfaction in taking action and trying to make something rather than waiting for someone else to do it. That's what makes you inventor Anne <laughs> with, no, with no e. Yeah. <laughs> As a child, her inspiration was everyone from Houdini to Madame Curie or Nikola Tesla. What I found to be inspiring about the people who I was obsessed with is that they had worked very, very hard at their specific line of interest and passion and they had succeeded. And I think it's so inspiring to see someone who's really struggled and started from the bottom and, and gone so far um, with what they love to do. Now this invention was, I think, was probably my first invention. Here she is, barely seven years old the ideas just pouring out of her. When they put it down on the table, it'll be like that. When she was 15, she traveled to her mother's homeland, the Philippines, where one friend living in a remote area inspired her first big invention, a flashlight powered simply by the heat of your hand. My friend told me that she'd failed to grade in school because she couldn't afford electricity. So, you know, wow. when she came home from school, she had to help take care of her sister and her family and do all the chores. And at nighttime was the time she was supposed to study. She didn't have any light, so she didn't do very well mm -hmm. at school. After a half a dozen prototypes, it's now in the final stages of commercial production. Science is in everything. It also won her the 2013 Google Science Fair Award for her age category. But that's just one of dozens of international trips, awards, and recognitions she's received. Speeches on TEDx, the top 30 under 30 from Time magazine, and not one, but two appearances on The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon. So this is called the e-drink, and um, I basically... The e-drink. The e-drink. The electronic drink. Wow, you guessed it. Okay, wow. Uh, <laughs> a, little, a little condescending there. Uh. Kind of looks like you're giving the old guy a hard time a bit. Well, I didn't, I didn't know. I, I think I was just nervous. <laughs> I just blurted out. Well, it's your last appearance on the show, so uh, make, you better enjoy it. Well, you did okay. You did okay. <laughs> Now she has a manager through America's Amazing Teens Project, her own LinkedIn page, and then there's the money. Over $100,000 so far. Just don't call her an entrepreneur. 
I think I would label, my, label myself as an inventor, I guess, because that's, that's what I am. When people ask me what I do, I'm like, I make things. That's a pretty big yeah. handle for... <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, I don't like using the word entrepreneur or anything like that, because I feel like it's completely overused and it's been quite abused. The term, like, ev everyone now is like, oh yes, I'm an entrepreneur, and I feel like it's a very broad term. Yeah, so you don't want to make any money out of this? Um, well, I would, I mean, I would like to make some money. I don't want to be completely broke. But, Just so we get yeah. that straight. <laughs> I, you can be an inventor and still make money. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. of course, silly me. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. And she has another big project in the works. Just don't ask her what it is. I've got to guess. You want me to guess? You wouldn't tell me anyway. I wouldn't tell you anyway. <laughs> It'll be surprised, yeah. 18 and those ideas in her brain have already taken her around the world. But she says Victoria will always be home. I think I have to go and work somewhere where there's more things happening <laughs> um, right now, but it's always nice to come back here. It's very, I've, I've learned to appreciate it more now that I've done more traveling. Yeah, this will always be home? Yeah, I think so. I think it will be. Geez, the phone's gone, Dad. I guess we need to go for a coffee. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> we probably should have charged that. Are you giving the old guy a hard time again? Yeah. <laughs> Red Sharon, CBC News in Victoria, British Columbia.